you start by just telling us what we're doing here on the James um, Today we're here on the James River doing a demonstration of the proficiency of a creature craft in the low head dam. Okay. So tell us a little bit about the boat itself. So the, the creature craft is uh, a self-riding uh, rescue inflatable that uh, we developed actually to run huge whitewater. Uh, we've been, we had the first working prototype in November 1998, so we've had a lot of time to work out the kinks. Uh, a few years down the road, we uh, were asked about the viability of using it in low head dams to rescue people. And, uh, this area of the country is one of the largest areas for uh, low head dams, simply because they are the cheapest dams to build and therefore they're the most common. Most of these dams don't function anymore, but um, for lots of reasons, um, maybe first and foremost is the fact that um, typically they have um, sediment uh, that is full of heavy metals and stuff that from the early days of mining and, and milling and all of that. Um, so we build the world's only uh, low head dam rescue boat, or at least only safe one. There's one other company that says they have a low head dam boat, but um, nobody will ever use them in a low head dam because they're just not safe. Uh, most boats get absolutely destroyed in low head dam. Uh, for whatever reason, uh, the creature craft structure uh, allows it to operate safely within a low head dam. So. Now, why are these boats important to a rescue squad or well, the, the thing is, 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 without a creature craft, basically there's no viable means to rescue out of low head dam. I, you can always get lucky when somebody wash out or somebody catches a really long throwback throw. But in a creature craft, you make it possible to get live victims out of dams because you can drive right into the dam, get your hands on them, and physically pull them out. Um, when people get into these dams, they're, it's a terrifying experience. They get tumbled, they can't breathe, they're, you know, and, and you don't just wash out and go downstream, you stay there. So many people lose the, the, the cognitive ability to do things like grab onto a throw bag or, or you know, a stick or whatever. They just are so panicked and so, so scared that the only way to get them out is to grab them and pull them out. And so in a creature craft, you can do that. In other boats, you can't because when you put a regular boat into a low head dam, uh, it just gets destroyed and now you have your rescuers in the dam. Uh, along with your victim, and, and that is, is no good. You, now you have to rescue a bunch more people. And there have been several really well publicized um, accidents in low head dam rescues that have resulted in, in many, many lost um, rescue personnel. And so we offer a safe alternative um, for the rescuers to, um, to, to do what they do rescue people. And so if they were Already today, we've tested the ability of, a, of an oar rig to go over the top of the face and into the dam and then come out um, while performing maneuvers inside the dam. Um, we're now going to put um, two, <laughs> two of us in there and see how the difference in the, the weight distribution and all that works. Um, and then um, we'll, we'll put some of their rescuers in there and get them uh, the, get them into a comfort zone of being able to work in that environment. Um, also, we will test um, the motorized uh, units, which are behind us here, um, in driving into the dam. Um, we believe in this dam, primarily, the motorized unit, um, at least at this water flow, is assisting the non-motorized. Um, the non-motorized go over the top of the dam. The motorized, um, not so good at that. Um, but the, the non-motorized can't get back into the dam if they ever get out. So basically how you would be doing a rescue scenario here was you would drive across the face of the dam um, to get to where your victim is, drop in basically right on top of the victim, get your hands on the victim, and then the, the motorboat will either pull the, will, will pull the, uh, the non-motorized boat out of the dam. Um, and, and it's really simple. We use um, sea anchors 
to assist in that. And typically, the, typically the sea anchors, um, when you hear that yell, you know, you turn around. Um, That was probably a sea anchor. Sea anchors will work to pull the boats out of the dam. If they won't, what they do do is they create a feature in the water that tells us right where they are and we just drive up and get a hold of that, that sea anchor and pull them out with the boats. The other thing that the motorized boats do is they, if, if, the, if they were to miss the victim and um, then come out of the dam, the motorized boat would push them right back into the dam. And so then if that allows um, um, the, the non-motorized to get back in to, to do a, a second victim or, or to, if they miss the first victim. So um, using the two boats in conjunction keeps everybody safe and makes a, a live rescue um, more than possible. Makes a live rescue likely. So, and, and, and typically that's not the case. Typically the fire departments are doing recoveries and this, once somebody gets in these dams. So this gives them a tool that they can exact live rescues as opposed to recovery. When we when we sell a boat to these departments, we do we come back with our full team and we will do three days of training to get these guys up to speed. And, and you can see here that we have these guys already in the boat. We will have these guys in the dam today. Um, they won't be driving in the dam today, but what we will do is we'll come with a team and we will teach them. At that point they will be driving in the dam. And the nice thing about a creature craft, and it's really a funny thing because over the years we've gotten a fair amount of criticism for this exact thing from the whitewater world. The boats are easy to use, so people without a whole bunch of experience can get in them and operate them proficiently. So in the whitewater world, that has that frowned upon a bit because it puts people with less experience into hazardous environments. So on the rescue end, that's what makes this whole thing possible. Is because the firefighters have to be good at doing all kinds of things. Um, and they don't have time to become experts on one thing, like low head dam rescue. They've got to go into burning buildings. They've got to do, you know, deal with you know, extractions out of automobiles. And all the things, I mean, all the things you can imagine that they have to do, they have to be trained for. They don't have time to spend years of their life getting to be experts on this. In a creature craft, the system is very effective and simple. You can learn fast, step by step. Let him go. Here they go. Here comes Darren. <laughs> so, what not to do? Uh, if that's you, it's obvious how to not do that after your very first go. The other thing that we do is we train in the environment that they'll be using that equipment in. Like when we come back, we will be training in that dam and the other dam that's here. So. They don't have to be experts in every dam. They just have to be experts in that dam. And we will give them the tools to do it. Now, when we leave, they will have to have a training program in place. And since they all realize how dangerous this environment is, um, they will, they, they, they always do. And one of the things that I've been told many times by chiefs from other departments that have the boats is that one of the really neat things about a creature craft is that the firefighters want to train in it because it's fun. I mean, you hear them over here laughing. They're, they're fun boats to drive. You can do fun things in them. And, and, and only in a creature crowd can you go over the top of these dams. And so it's a, it's a new thing and um, it's fun. And so they'll train. And since the boats are easy, we feel very confident uh, that, that of the teams that we have out there using the boats, that they can use them and they, and, and they are good at it. We've had them use them many times already and they do really well. Perfect, I think that's all that we need.